What is going on YouTube? It is The Real Kevin Ellis. I'm coming to you with another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about AIT at Fort Gordon. Um, I wanna say thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you for everybody who supports the channel. And uh, really quick, I you know all the videos I have recorded are coming back. Um, I'll explain to you guys a little bit later in the video why I had deleted them. But um, I'm gonna jump right into the video. Um, Fort Gordon at AIT. <laughs> AIT at Fort Gordon, I mean. So basically there's three phases. I'm gonna talk about the phases today. Um, I'm gonna to talk about a little bit of the um, student leadership and, and stuff like that. And um, I think that's about it. It's kind of hasty. I'm out here by myself. Should have a battle buddy there. My battle buddy's right over there. Um, Joe Sargent that's watching this. But, um, but no, uh, I'm gonna talk about anything that comes up. You guys already know I'm not home. I'm not doing any editing. The sound might be off, the lighting might be off. But um, the lighting is definitely off. But that's all right, we're just gonna jump into it. So, first things first. When you get here, you are in red phase. Uh, you are in um, phase four. So there's three different phases. You got phase four, phase five, and phase five plus. So with phase four, it's basically fresh off the, the boat, uh, fresh off, you know, the bus from um, basic training. You are not allowed, it's, you know, it's so funny because at basic training, you know, you don't want high day, well, maybe you want high days, but you don't want MREs. You definitely want to go to the DFAC. And when you get here, you know, oh, I can only eat at the DFAC. It's so funny how fast it changes. But yeah, when you're phase four, you can only eat at the DFAC. So you can't have Domino's, you can't have Panda Express. Um, you can't have Subway, you can't have the vending, you're not supposed to have the vending machines. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you're not missing that much. Um, so that's with the food. You have to eat at the DFAC um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, like, I'll talk to you guys about my company specifically, but with my company, you're not allowed to wear civilians as a phase four. I don't think any uh, phase fours are allowed to wear civilian um, clothing, like on the weekends and stuff. Um, and for us, like Saturdays, you, you have to do detail, which is basically like cleaning, sweeping, mopping, whatever, cutting grass. So phase fours have to do four hours. So from 800 to 1200, you, you're you gonna be cleaning and cutting grass and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if I should talk to you guys about the phase. I will, I guess I'll briefly mention the phase up process. I won't go too much into it, but if you have any questions about it, feel free to hit the comments. Um, also, if you're coming to Fort Gordon, uh, hit the comments because I'm a 25 Quebec. So this video might be different for somebody who's a 25 Bravo or a 25 uh, uniform. Um, pretty soon all the, we're, most of us are gonna be, uh, we're gonna be converting into 25 hotels. So if you're a 25 hotel, this video is definitely for you. Um, but yeah, so phase four is to phase up. You, you have to do a bunch of things. You have to have your room inspected. Um, so it has to be to the standard, like clean, you know, clean sink no toothpaste in the sink, made bed, no electronics out, stuff like that. Um, you gotta get your locker inspected. So that's gotta be SOP standard, you know, um, you, you gotta basically have it uh, to standard, you know. Um, which again, if you want a video on that, but you'll get that when you come here, um, get notifications. Uh, what else do you need to do to get to phase five? Uh, you need to recite, okay, so this is where I said in a couple videos before, if you want to be high speed, learn the Soldier's Creed, learn the Army Song, learn the Signal Corps March. You're going to have to recite those. Um, we personally had to write, like we have a policy letter that talks about all the things we can and cannot do, the things we can and cannot have. So, you know, for example, it talks about like when bed checks are and when you're allowed to wear civilian clothes and uh, how, how high your pants can be if you're, uh, you know, wearing shorts or whatever like that. So you have to hand write that policy letter. Um, it's like 15, when I did it, it was 15 pages. I think they changed it now to 11 pages. <clears throat> and by the way, if this video is long and ranting, then I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to get as much information as I can because I know when I was coming to Fort Gordon or Fort Jackson, I was looking at videos and trying to get all the information I could. So again, if there's anything you wanna know that I don't touch on, feel free to hit my comments or my Instagram which is real Kevin Ellis, and I will get back to you ASAP. Um, but yeah, so the policy letter we had to write, uh, I already said that you have to do the verbals, you have to get your room inspected. Oh, and there's like some certifications um, that you have to do online. It's pretty, you know, it's not hard. It's just a little time consuming. 
Um, so, oh, and you have to wait three weeks. So how it works for me is you don't have to wait exactly three weeks, like the weeks start on Friday. So if you show up on a Friday, that's week one. Next Friday is week two. The third the third Friday would be week three. So that's what I did. Um, I, I, I phased up real quick. I'm phase five plus now, by the way. So that means I can, well, I'll talk to you about it. But so yeah, now you're at phase five, right? Phase five, now you can wear civilians on, you can wear your civvies on the weekends. Um, that detail that I told you about, that's four hours for phase fours. That's only two hours. So at 10 hundred, you're done. Uh, you can have Red Bull, you can have energy drinks. Um, you can eat at Domino's and all that. Um, you can't go off base. I think that's just, I mean, phase five plus is cool because we can go off base. Um, I don't really think there's that many differences between five, five. So yeah, five plus, I'll just talk to you about five plus and then I'll tell you how to get there. Um, but yeah, five plus, you can wear civilians, of course. You can eat, you can get Starbucks. Five, phase five, you can't have Starbucks. Um, you can't go to the like the grocery store. But when you're phase five plus, you can go to the grocery store, you can go to Starbucks. Um, you can, there's no detail on Saturday. So tomorrow, Saturday morning, I'm gonna go to formation and I'm gonna, at zero eight, you know, as soon as we start the formation, five pluses go. So that's cool. Um, that's really why I wanted to phase up because I don't like cutting grass and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, to get to phase five plus is a little, it's, it's easier and it's harder. Like the certifications are already done. You do have to do another room inspection. Um, oh, you know what? You have to get your AGSUs inspected too, to go to five. Um, but you have to do it for five plus two. So that's like your dress uniform. They just want to know that you have like your, um, badges or whatever in the right place and you know you're squared away it's ironed and all that um so yeah only seven minutes in thank you guys for staying if you're still here um i think when i get to 500 subscribers i'm gonna do another giveaway again I'm, i don't have a script in front of me guys i'm just pulling this out of the air so bear with me um but yeah five plus five plus oh so the the biggest thing about five plus is you have to do a board oh man I, I'm not I'm not gonna edit this, so I'll just tell you I forgot one more thing that you actually have to do for phase four. I should have brought the sheets with me. Um you have to take a test, the general knowledge test to get to phase five. Um the general knowledge test is basically asking questions about the army's birthday, when Pearl Harbor was attacked, uh, you know, what's your first general order, stuff like that. Stuff that you pretty much should know, stuff that you should have learned at basic. Um uh, the chain of command, you know, who's our first sergeant, who's the commander in chief. Like, it's really kind of hard to fail it if you even try, you know. But yeah, so there's a te there's a written test to get to phase five. Once you get to phase five, there's a board, which is essentially those same type of questions and questions about the policy letter. But now you're standing in front of like student leadership and you're standing in front of a drill sergeant and, you know, private first class Ellis reporting to the board. I just realized I didn't have my PC on outside. I don't think it matters because I'm sitting down, but let me just put my PC on in case I'm wrong. And in case all the veterans that are gonna be watching my video are gonna be like, where's your PC? I love when you uh, veterans comment on my videos like, oh, we're so dumb and we have so easy. Thank you for your service. I don't know what else to say, you know, I'm trying to correct myself, so. Uh, and if you're watching this guys, that's a tip. This is a bonus tip. I'm not gonna edit that in, but this is a bonus tip. When you're at basic training or at AIT and you're doing something wrong or you're messed up somehow, like, you know, maybe your shoes untied or, I mean, I've seen your flags on backwards or I hope that doesn't happen, but uh, maybe you're marching the wrong way. Um, you're breaking a rule. You're getting corrected for some reason or another, right? What you're gonna wanna do is just say, yes, I fucked up and I'll be better next time. You know, Joe sergeants do not wanna hear Oh yeah, but the reason why and this, uh, no, no, no. Yes, I messed up and it won't happen again. Cool. If they make you do push-ups or whatever, just do them, get up and go about your day. Um, my experience is that drill sergeants don't hold, like they're not gonna be like, oh man, yesterday his shoe was on tight. You know, they're gonna correct you at the time and, and that's it. Like I got dropped, we call it, you know, getting dropped. So drill sergeants just said drop and you start doing push-ups. I got dropped because I was walking and texting on my phone. I wasn't even really, I was like checking the schedule to make sure 
see, I'm making excuses, but instead of sitting there, oh, but I was doing this, that, that. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Go ahead and drop. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Bang out 20 push ups. Yes, sir, Sergeant. I started doing them. He goes, I don't hear anything. I got to like five. I'm like, all right. One drill sergeant, two drill sergeant, you know, doesn't matter. Bang out three more. Yes, drill sergeant, you know. So that's like, yes, drill sergeant is your best friend. Um, that was a side note because, again, this is not scripted. It's 100 degrees out here. I'm just out here trying to make some content and uh, just trying to stay consistent, you know. But yeah, yes, drill sergeant, no drill sergeant. I messed up, drill sergeant. I'm not blaming anybody. It's nobody's fault but mine. Yes, I'm owning it. That's what you want to do, guys. Um, yeah, so the phase five board, you're, you're showing up. Um, I guess I'll do a whole nother video on tips for taking for going to a board because I had to do a board to get to faith phase five plus And I also had to do a board for student leadership, which I'm going to talk to you about right now um, You know, I was student first now I'm student master I was upset about it But like in my basic video basic training video I told you that being PG doesn't really matter being a squad leader doesn't really matter um, This is all temporary. This is all just an experience so if you don't make it to student leadership, don't think it's because you're a bad soldier or you did you know, anything wrong. Um, and if you do make it to student leadership, don't think you're like super high speed and you know, you're untouchable. Like it's just a position. Um, Joe Sargent might have noticed that you're more squ you're squared away or that you know, you're more mature and they put you in a leadership position. Um, be honest with you, it's a little annoying. I, it's not annoying, like I enjoy being in leadership, but uh, you're basically, like the in-between of drill sergeant and, and, and um, your fellow soldiers. So drill sergeant says, hey, I want everybody downstairs in five minutes, put that out. And we have like a group chat and I'll put it out to everybody. And if they have questions, they'll ask me and I'll say, let me check and I'll go ask the drill sergeant. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we get to do random things like, you know, we'll miss PT and go to like a meeting with the first sergeant or, uh, I mean, just random stuff, you know, like I'll, I'll maybe, I don't know, I was gonna say I'll make another video about it, but truthfully, I don't even think I will. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's like being a PG at basic training. And if you didn't, if you don't know what that is, you'll you'll know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you wanna, I guess, if you wanna be high speed, if you wanna, if you wanna be student leadership, you know, you wanna make sure you, you got your military bearing down. You know how to stand at the position of attention. You know how to greet officers. You know how to, you know, salute the flag. You want to know how to do a PT formation, um, your prep drills and stuff like that. Um, that's all going to help. <clears throat> what else? What else? Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, like I said, I, I was kind of not making many videos. And there I was yesterday playing some pool and somebody came up to me and said, hey, man, I, I saw your video before I before I came. And uh, I love to hear that. So if you're watching this and you see me on the street one day or at Fort Gordon or anywhere else, please do tell me because it's gonna blow my head up bigger than it already is. No, I'm just kidding, but I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I talked about student leadership. Um, oh, and as far as like being like a PG or like a, a class leader, you basically just volunteer. I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal. Um, now, PGs and, and student and uh, PGs and um, like class leads are, you, there's like, I guess some perks, they're not really perks, but it's better you than me or better me than you, I guess, you know, but, uh, if you're, if you're student leadership, you do get like, uh, an award and that counts as promotion points. So if you're like wanting to promote every promotion point is that's available, you should try to take, you know, you can volunteer, um, shout out to the USO, the Bob Hope USO in LA. Uh, I'm going to go back to volunteering there because that's going to be some volunteering points. It's going to help me get promotions later, you know, um, I want to stop the video here because it's already 14 minutes. I'm trying to think if I could throw anything else out. Um, but I'm going to be making some more videos, guys. I have some stuff written down. This was just like a last minute. Let me make a quick video type of thing. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I could tell you. Uh, I, I, next, I'll tell you next video. I'm going to probably talk about the, uh, the 25 hotel conversion. Because I know some of you guys are, are going to be hotels. Um, I think... I know Lima's in Quebec's, and I can't remember if it's Sierra's or Uniforms, um, but there's like basically three MOS's that are gonna be converting to one on the 1st of October. So that should be fun. Um, I'm gonna go from a multi-channel transmission systems operator maintainer to I believe a network communication systems specialist. 
So that should be fun. Um, oh yeah, I'll talk about this too. We're fast tracked. So, oh yeah, so we're fast tracked. Um, if there's like only a few people in your in your company, like there's only five Quebecs, including myself. So instead of having to do a 17 week AIT, um, we're accelerated. So we basically only have to do nine weeks, um, which is awesome. So that also accelerates the phase up program. Um, I'm getting a call. I'm gonna have to take this in a sec. But uh, yeah, so phase phase uh, five plus is usually 11 weeks. You have to be here for 11 weeks. But if you're fast tracked, as soon as you're phase five, you can go to the board, pass the board, and and then phase up. So that's what I did. I was phase five plus in three weeks. And going off post is fun. And maybe I'll make another video about what there is to do off post. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this one short real quick, guys. I'm gonna upload this. Uh, if there's anything else you wanna see or hear about or know about, hit the comments. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you like the video, please like the video. I'll see you on the next one.